Okay, we're going to focus on the issue of what Alex Shigo called target pruning. Shigo, over his career, noticed that, uh, that in general, when you prune, you want to leave this branch collar material. You notice how the branch, this pine branch, is coming out. I've clipped the end off here for clarity. And you can see that it meets the collar here and then down here, this roundish tissue. The idea is that that's the tissue that peels over the branch, okay? So you would then prune right there, preserving all of the collar. Now that may be a good idea on a lot of cases, especially hardwoods and larger branches, because you do, this tissue does have a value. But the other side of that is, if you, if you start doing that routinely, one, it's hard, especially up the tree, on a pine tree, much easier to saw straight down like this um, and Kevin O'Hara looked at the worldwide literature on this very issue and found that there's just no downside especially when you're green pruning pruning off live branches of you don't want to prune flush to the bowl like this that's too much but if you come to the top of the branch collar like this and then prune parallel with the stem not like this but straight downward that the occlusion of that branch wound will actually, if anything, be faster. So I'm not going to prune that way. I'm going to prune straight down. Sorry, Alex and the followers. The arborists are not going to like this because they believe in the branch collar holiness at all costs. But silvicultural pruning is a different issue. We want to minimize this knotty core. So we're going to prune straight down. You see, we make a bigger wound, but in a young, vigorous tree like this, that's not a problem. That will pitch right over and heal over. Okay, done.